Hi, I'm David Hallam. This video is going to discuss uh, the caution that you need to take when talking with uh, insurance adjusters. Now first, what is an insurance adjuster? Well, it doesn't mean much more than uh, that the person is an employee and an agent of an insurance company. Now they've had certain training and that training is in how to value claims and how to value property but they've also had a lot of training in how to take advantage of individuals who lack their training and sophistication where it comes to insurance. Two types of adjusters you're likely to encounter following a collision would be your own insurance company where you have to talk to them, you have to report the incident, you have to cooperate because uh, they have an obligation to defend you if the other side claims that you're at fault. Uh, and sometimes you have certain rights under their policy for medical pay coverage or for uninsured motorists or underinsured motorist coverage. You have to cooperate and you have to talk with them. But keep in mind, even your own company representatives uh, have to be looked at with caution. And by caution I mean you have to be on guard when you're talking with them that anything you say can be used against you. Now the more clear adversary is the insurance adjuster for the opposing party, the person that you were involved in the accident with. That insurance company, make no mistake, is absolutely 100% out to get you in any way possible. They will come to your door on occasion and meet with you after a collision where you've suffered horrendous, serious injuries and tell you, well, I will write you a check for $5,000 if you sign this release. That's actually happened to many of our clients and they were smart enough to talk to an attorney before going any further. But these kind of things happen. The insurance adjusters on the other side, whether you're talking to them for property damage purposes or for injury purposes, have a goal to minimize your claim, pay you the least, or pay you nothing. We often find that these type of insurance company employees will lead people on to suggest that, oh yes, we'll settle your case, only to get right up to the time of the statute of limitations, or even beyond the statute of limitations, and then uh, tell the person your case is closed because the statute of limitations expired and you didn't sue. So exercise caution and when in doubt speak with an attorney. There's more information on our website. You're free to look at that. Thank you.